It's time for our dramatic run back to the house in which I'm sure nothing terrible will happen to us. Also, for no particular reason, we're carrying just our bazooka and all our bazooka ammo. We don't have to. This is Brad. Hi, Brad. Probably help if I brought my microphone down in front of my face too. Thanks, Brad. That's Where's really helpful. Jill? Brad? Jill, he just said you can't it's answer broken. him. He just said you can't answer him. He wasn't kidding around, okay? Let's see if we can do it again. Are the dogs even here anymore? I will set you on fire. Oh, they're just gone. Okay. I'm cool with that. <coughs> More blue herbs, because... God knows, you might need to unpoison yourself eight times in this. A horrifying prospect. Shut up, dog. Down there's an elevator we can't use because we don't have a battery. And to our left is a door we can't go through because the water is falling over it. The water is falling over it because we drained that reservoir. But we can't get down here unless we drain the reservoir. Because that elevator doesn't have a battery, so what do you think we're going back to the house for? If you set a battery, you're totally right. Don't re-crank that bastard yet. As you have to take the battery down to the elevator, then come back up, then undo the crank, and then... Yeah, it is it, it's, it's bad. Still empty. I would like it if this were empty. God damn. Eh, screw those. I'll save those for later. <coughs> Just in case. <coughs> Shut up, dog. They're so loud. Why do they gotta be so loud? Hi, Chris. And then this happened. Because they decided, you know what? The mansion's not very scary anymore. Why would we make them go back there? Oh. Hey, he's dead. Good for him. Mansion key. Now, where all the zombies used to be, we're going to have those bastards. Oh, I need the lighter, don't I? Nope, there's a switch. We can push the switch. That's better. <coughs> oh, boy. Oh, no, that's, that's not an ink ribbon at all. Holy crap. I'm cool with that. Okay, what's this? Give me the thing... This is one of those things we need, the Doom Book. Eagle of East and Wolf of West. Nothing uncommon, so Magnum Rounds and a book. Nothing important. Hmm. Okay. Now this I actually had to call Nintendo Power, not Nintendo Power again, but I had to call a game helpline. Because I didn't know about that whole opening books thing. Yeah. I made it to the end of the game. I didn't know you could do that. Because there's a thing in the book. And we need this thing. To do something. Oh, Resident Evil. <coughs> Why are you so Resident Evil?
Yeah. Blue door. So I'm gonna go this way. Where's our other helmet key at? Anything on this floor? That door. That's the closet. Yeah, so there's nothing else here, so we need to get back to <coughs> the second floor. Oh god. Oh, you bastard. Make sure he dies all the way. I'll put some bullets in the back room. Use them in case of trouble, Barry. Thanks, Barry. You're awesome. Yeah, you don't really want to avoid hunters, because they'll murder you. But we've got so much ammo, it's ridiculous. I actually don't know why we have so much ammo. I haven't been avoiding killing things. Maybe I picked easy? I don't think I picked easy. I thought I picked normal. But I've been wrong before. So we're gonna put this up here. I mean, Christ's sake, I've got 55 shotgun rounds. Okay, I'm gonna put you in here. Okay, we're gonna keep the key. Eh, I don't really need the healing items. I know where enough are. But I shouldn't need them. Don't need the magnum rounds. We'll put you down by the crank. It's time to be obsessive compulsive about our inventory. <coughs> okay, that looks good to me. We got 18 dead hunters locked and loaded. Yeah, hunters are... I'm not sure what they made hunters out of, or if they even talked about it. I think they're part amphibian. I'm not sure. They're either part amphibian or part reptile. Explains all their scaly nonsense. Yeah. They're kind of what acid rounds are for. Yeah, acid rounds hurt them really bad. He did. They're noisy. I thought there was another one in here. Clearly I was mistaken. There's a couple more we need to kill. <coughs> Although I think our reward is shotgun rounds, so maybe I don't need to kill them. Whatever. I'm not picky. I love the arc on the bazooka, as opposed to the uh, grenade launcher from Resident Evil 2. The bazooka is much better. This beats the hell out of invisible hunters from uh, Revelations. Where is he? There he is. Go away. There's a note. Orders. Top secret. To the head of the security department. X day is approaching. Complete the following orders within a week. Lure the lab lure the members of stars into the lab and have them fight with the bows in order to obtain data of actual battles. Collect two embryos per bow type, making sure to include all species except for the tyrant. Destroy the Arclay lab, including all researchers and lab animals in a manner which will seem coincidental. White umbrella. 
That white umbrella that never got mentioned ever again. Tragic, that. Shotgun shells. Are you an ink ribbon? No, you're not! You're a magnum rounds, which is awesome. I think there's... Oh, I know what's in the tiger. I was thinking it was shotgun shells, but I'm thinking the... Uh, remake, I think. There's something very good in the tiger. Of course, we need to flip this switch. It looks like it's alive. And to think, taxidermy used to be my hobby. <laughs> I will take the red jewel. Eh, there's only one more helmet door, I think. Only one more helmet door I give a damn about. Couple more hunters we need to kill, maybe. We might be able to get past them. I don't know if it's worth it, though. Easier to just kill them. I was like, I forgot was who I was watching play this. I can't remember if it was Kiko or Necroscope. And it's like, dude, just kill them. It's. Yeah. It's so much easier. See, all the zombies are hunters now. Yeah, that's a broken shotgun. Minus one or two. There aren't quite as many hunters as there were zombies. There are a lot of them, though. Ha! You cheeky bastard. You think you're shit. Uh, well, I got news for you, mister. You ain't nothing. The rock said that. Truer words were never said, and... Magnum! P.I. I don't know how that song goes, actually. I'm just going... I would love to own one of these, and I'm not even a gun guy. It is just... It, it's a beautiful thing. It, it's... It's perfect. Magnum rounds loaded. <coughs> Let's go ruin a couple hunters' days. <laughs> So yeah, we must be getting... Oop, I don't need that. We must be getting close to the end of the game. We've got the Magnum. Well, they did give me the Magnum fairly early in Resident Evil 2. I forget where you get it normally. Hey, asshole. Is he not dead? Nope, he's dead. He just didn't have time to scream and die. <laughs> All cold python shots are headshots. So it's the fact that the gun does more damage, and I don't know, for some reason she can hit it, aim for the head with it. Okay, let's get our shotgun shells and our magnum rounds. Trying to use it. There we go, that's better. Okay, reload this. So we're gonna take the Magnum for our oh crap weapon. Put all these shotgun shells up. Uh, let's grab the rest of our explosive rounds. And we don't need any of those. 
grab one of those and that. And yeah, that sounds good to me. <coughs> Hopefully. Let's go have a boss fight. Cause by God, it's been 20 minutes. We're gonna be rolling in boss fights before the end. I really like Resident Evil 1. It's got really good pacing. I like how the first part of the game is very take your time, do what you need to do. It's kind of like that in the remake, except for the surprise zombies. Um, they kind of encourage you to <laughs> not be too leisurely. But by and large, you can just kind of... Especially if you don't kill them, because they're really easy to dodge in that one. That's one where I don't kill very many zombies. You kind of spend your first run through the mansion identifying your key problem areas. And then you neutralize them, so you don't have to worry about them. And then there are those rooms that you only have to go in once, so you go ahead and kill them, because it doesn't matter. So we're going to the helmet door that was down by the moose. The moose is loose. And he's stealing the juice. Better watch your caboose. Or he'll paint it chartreuse. I don't know what's wrong with me. Is this door? No, it's this door. Is it this door? It's probably not this door. Well, no, no. It's it's this door. Yeah. The other door was the researcher's will and something else. Use the mansion key. You don't need this key anymore, you silly bastard. So I would like to discard it, then. If you insist that I don't need it anymore. By the way, it's oak wrap time. And I bought, brought this blue herb for a reason. Anything in here? Any treasure? No treasure. Any in here? Hole opens in the fireplace. I should be able to set fire to that. That'd be awesome. Go to get the wood from the other room. That'd be an adventure game. Who hates me? I don't know why he's hurt. Because I didn't fight him. Which is hilarious to me. Took six magnum rounds. I think he's dead now. Let's get out of his way so he can be dead. <coughs> no. <laughs> Put grenades in my magnum. This isn't Parasite Eve. Okay, so, time to go down here. Because this is sensible. It's too dark to see anything. Who could that be? It's Barry! Hi, Barry. Have you found anything interesting? I found Wesker and a giant snake that yes, you just walked through. but I can't see very well. Oh, no, no, this hole. down to check by yourself? I have a rope here. Oh, that's perfect. Oh, do you? Well, then I'll try to go down using the rope. Wait. Why don't we tie the rope to the piano and both go down? No. Oh, okay. I tried. Hey, what's going on? Now I've done it. Sorry, Jill. Wait. I'll go and get another rope. I could just throw this one Barry? up to you, you Barry? ass. 
Very snidely whiplash. Now I've done it! Yeah! <laughs> anyway, we're down here now, and uh, we'll see what's down here with us next time. Until then.